Whether you are an Oilers fan or an Evander Kane fan or not, I know a lot of you, including me, are possibly sick of hearing about Evander Kane. He's been in the news a lot the last, I was going to say the last bit, but it's been the last while he's been in the news with all the stuff that's been going on with him and with the Sharks and all the situations that he's been in. So I just wanted to do this last little bit on Evander Kane because his the saga of will he or won't he be signed has come to a close. He has signed with the Oilers, of course, everyone is aware of that by now, after being released by the Sharks. It's a one-year deal to the end of the season, 2.1 mil. Now, obviously, <laughs> there's controversy of, about this signing because there's people that love it and people that hate it. I will get to my opinion in a second. The first thing I will say is that at 2.1 mil, for ignoring everything else, for the caliber of skill that he brings and what he can do uh, on the ice in terms of skill and putting up points and playing that tough game as well, it's a good signing. At 2.1 mil, it's a good signing. And bringing back all the stuff from the outside, not just his play on the ice, I am 100% positive that in his contract negotiations with the Oilers, they definitely said we're not paying you more because of everything else and that is totally valid for them to bring up in, in negotiations like this because it definitely, stuff like that devalues a player. There's no question about that. That's a positive that's going to happen when you bring uh, negative stuff from the outside into a dressing room, into a team, the possibility of it ha happening again devalues you even if even if there is slight possibility that it will happen again the fact that it has already happened you're bringing in all that negative baggage with you it's going to bring down your your value to a team so his performance so far i believe he has a goal um that's i think that's his only point i could be wrong um and there was a game i forget which team it was against uh he i think it was against washington where mcdavid got absolutely wrecked uh in open ice and kane went after the guy and whatever sticking up for your teammate i have always been a fan of that so he's he's done that for the team he's contributed that as well which i think we all knew he was going to contribute because that's one of the biggest aspects of his game is playing that tough game and sticking up for players and, and you know throwing hits trying to change the tempo of a game I guess you can say so that's a little bit about his performance so far now I think you know already uh, if you listen to my podcast episodes if you've if you've listened to them previously you must know that I'm not the biggest Evander Kane fan I am also not the biggest Oilers fan however this this video is unbiased I promise uh, we are going we aren't going to revisit the reasoning on why I don't like Evander Kane I'm sure you can guess why and why I don't like the Oilers part of that obviously being because I am a Leafs fan uh, but this video disregards all that it's unbiased um, I promise so summary like I said he has skill but he's an idiot again my opinion I have talked about how I don't think the Oilers need someone like that in their dressing room I don't think any team needs that in their dressing room I'm not just picking on this signing because it's the Oilers. That's just the bonus. I'm picking on this signing because it it just doesn't really make sense to me, especially for a team like the Oilers where, I mean, the same could be said about the Leafs. You look at, at the dressing room and the atmosphere that the Leafs used to have just a few, just a few years ago uh, that has only been changed, I would say, in the last couple seasons. Bringing in someone like Kane would be an absolutely horrible decision because all the work that has been done to change the atmosphere of the Leafs dressing room, it would probably just work backwards. And you also have to take into account the press and the media in Toronto would just eat something like that up and it would just make, it would make all, all the, the press and the media, it would just make it put a negative spin on absolutely everything that happens for the team. And the same could be said for the Oilers. Uh, they are kind of jumping out of their slump now, I guess you can say, that they were on the last month or so. Uh, so they, they are coming out of that now, which might lighten up their dressing room and their atmosphere a bit, but bringing in someone like Kane, I feel like it's not going to help the situation because if they do go on another slide and they drop another, I don't know, three, four games in a row, whatever you want to call it, he's not the type of person that's going to help that. Um, he might try to, but I don't think he's the type of person that's going to help that. And also, 
you also look at the media and the press too because obviously when you have stars like mcdavid and dreisaitl the press and the media are going to be all over everything that they do that's just how the game works um so with the press and the media similar to similar to toronto um you know whenever something negative happens now with the oilers it's going to be you know is it kane's fault uh, and it's just going to have this negative connotation on everything because of all the baggage he's bringing. And God forbid he does something else that puts him in the news. I mean, something else like away from the game, um, like how he, all the stuff that's happened with him before away from the game. If something like that were to happen again, that's not something that the Oilers need right now because the team is not performing as expected so bringing in someone that has all that baggage that's not that's not what you need i'll just leave it leave it at that and then back to the oilers how they've kind of started to jump out of their slump it started happening before king got there so them coming out of their slump is not at all in connection to them signing kane there's no connection there whatsoever um just want to make that clear uh, because some people are making it seem like they signed kane and now everything is great in in Oilers land that's not the case they just started turning things around on their own before he got there which was inevitable it was going to happen because the Oilers weren't gonna just go on a slide for the rest of the season that's not the type of team they are you go on a slide they're gonna bounce back up eventually and then that's just how that's just how it goes for for teams like the Oilers that have the star power because when your stars I mean the Oilers have like their one line or one and a half lines whatever whatever you want to call it they have those lines so whenever mcdavid and dry settle they go cold the rest of the team is gonna go cold because they don't really have star power anywhere else so once they go cold that's their slide and then when mcdavid and dry settle start to pick it up again that's when the whole team starts to move up that's how it works for the oilers so them turning things around was going to happen signing kane there's no connection with that so I do hope that them bringing in Kane doesn't ruin what they kind of started before uh, he came on with them. He could completely turn a new leaf. And I, I'm not saying that he just brings this negative cloud and it's just going to stay like that forever. He could completely turn a new leaf and everything I'm saying will mean absolutely nothing. That can definitely happen. In my opinion, I don't think it will. Uh, he's been he's been given a lot of chances uh, by the Sharks specifically and... The fact that he has just continuously ruined those chances, I just don't think he's going to be able to turn a new leaf. Um, I hope, you know, hopefully for his sake he does, but I just, I don't think it's going to happen. I also watched the interview that he did with Kayla Gray. Um, I watched a few clips from it and he did own up to a few things. Uh, at least he wasn't trying to make excuses, but I mean, to me, he is owning up to multiple things saying it was a mistake, it was stupid, and then he gets asked about something else he, he did and he says the same thing. So I think that just shows it's literally just mistake after mistake, which is why I don't like this guy. I mean, he's saying she questions him about one thing and he says, yeah, it was a mistake, it was stupid, and then she asks him about something else that he did later and he says it was a mistake, it was, it was stupid, I own up to it. He's just owning up to thing after thing, which shows that whether he did whether he did what he's been accused of or not that's besides the point it's just the what he brings with him the situations that he allows himself to be put in and some of the stuff he has actually done because he owned up to it and the fact that he's showing that it's literally a pattern he does something he owns up to it he does something he owns up to it it's just it shows that he's he's given chances after he screws up and then he goes and he screws up again so that's kind of why I just don't like this whole situation. I think he just needs to step away from the sport, at least for a bit. Um, but going back to the interview, my favorite part of the interview was when Kayla had asked him about how McDavid told reporters that he was excited to have Kane and that he thought Kane would be a great fit. And then, so she asked him about that and Kane responds and says that he was surprised and grateful that McDavid said that and how... McDavid hadn't even spoken to Kane yet and he was already saying these things about him to the media but like what was Mc, what was McDavid gonna say oh he's a horrible fit I don't want him here like that's why I I hate 
Like, I hate when, when reporters ask players these things and that everyone says, oh, like, that was so nice of him to say that. He he's not going to go and say anything else. He's, he's not going to say that he doesn't want him here. Why, why would he do that? So I, I just, yeah, I don't know. I, that was just funny to me. So I don't know. Maybe it will work out. Maybe it won't. I guess we'll have to wait and see.